So using the async keyword, how do you return something from a function? So here, what we're doing is we are calling this background function, which is going to be initiated from your main method. And what we want to do is we want to return a string. It could be any return type, but in this instance, let's assume it's a string. So if we have a look at a do background work sync method. So again, that's the method. And over here is the definition. So as you can see that it returns hello. So as you can see here, we bought async keyword. This is standard. If you want anything to run in the background, you, you have to use async and then pass. And you can see here, that's the return type, but task actually allows for a string as an output as well. So when we return this as hello, this gets passed back over here into this background task variable. If we go down here, we can see later on we are getting the results of that pass by using its name and the await keyword. So there are a couple of things that are very important. You cannot do this without the await keyword. So as you can see, you will get error. So this name matches. So this name over here matches name over here. So that's the variable. And then you're storing the result within here. And this is a string variable. Notice here that you cannot just get results out here because this actually is a promise. And all it does is it basically kicks off this task and then remembers that it kicked off their task. The actual output of it will appear here by using the await keyword. So if I run this over here and you can see that the counter is increasing over here and eventually it's going to stop and there you go and as you can see here it's stopped and we've got the background task is finished and the result from the background is printed. So that's printed by this line over here which takes the results and the results comes from here and we use the await keyword to pull back the result. So the await keyword basically waits for that task to finish and once it has finished whatever the output of that function is it gets stored here so you can again if i try it cannot for example return one in here now because it's saying it's expecting that I type int so we can do is if you want int to be the read output so you can just say int here and as you can see here we get the result back over here so if i run this task again now notice that we get the error this is because we haven't changed the variable here so we're going to change that to int and notice over here as well that we need to change this to int Int because we're retaining it in type and then if I run this again and as you can see our code is running over here and when let this finish it has now finished and we've got the output printed here so we changed it from a string over here to an int and you can see we're retaining an int and then you have to change that this actually retains an int as well and then when we use the result here notice that this needs to be an int as well and then you can print the results here so I hope this clarifies how to run a background task get a value out from that task as shown here using the await keyword and the variable name that we declared and then this is the output that we get which is return 1.